Hello, and welcome to the first episode of World War II History and Stories, a weekly video dispatch. I'm Ron May, author of the book series, Our Service, Our Stories, and I'll be serving as your host for these programs. I'm really excited to launch this, this new weekly program focusing on World War II history and sharing the service stories of those who experienced it. Each week, I'll post a, a video program somewhere between five and 10 minutes in length, so keeping it short to respect your time. But each of those episodes will be focusing on an aspect of World War II history, and I'll be sharing the stories of those who are related to that aspect of history during World War II. These stories are drawn from the hundreds of veterans and civilians that I've had the privilege to interview over the last 10 years and whose stories I've been blessed to publish either in newspaper articles or uh, in my book series. But for this first episode, I thought I would take a, a few moments to uh, introduce myself and share how it is that I got started in preserving World War II stories. Uh, the first half of my professional career had almost nothing to do with World War II. Uh, from 1989 on, I was ordained as a Lutheran pastor and went on to serve four different congregations over a span of 25 years. Now, while I wasn't focused on World War II history at the time, I was focused on military service. For 22 of those 25 years as a pastor, I was also serving as a Navy Reserve chaplain, and so I had plenty of military experience to, to draw from. In 2012, I retired from the Navy, and following that retirement, found myself wanting to wanting to somehow still make a contribution to the military, but now that I was retired, probably through the veteran community. I remembered that during most, most of my uh, parish ministry experience, I always enjoyed getting to know the military service stories of my members, often bringing that aspect of their lives uh, to, the, to the people uh, during the funeral message for them. So the idea came to me, why not preserve those military stories in written format? And so I began to interview and, and write some of the stories of my uh, parish veterans. And I wanted to have a, a platform larger than just the immediate family to share those stories. So I reached out uh, to dozens of local newspapers in the Indianapolis and central Indiana area, pitching the idea of submitting these stories for, for publication. Uh, one editor... Uh, of the of Martinsville Reporter Times newspaper. His name was Brian. His, his name is Brian Culp, although he no longer serves in that uh, capacity. He took a chance on me, and he began to receive and publish these weekly or biweekly stories that I would submit to him. Uh, now the stories were of all uh, veterans of all eras, uh, but I quickly discovered a, a keen interest in the World War II veterans. Uh, First, just chronologically, they are the oldest and the ones that were passing away the, the fastest. But secondly, and I think just as importantly, I was discovering that World War II had the biggest global impact uh, of all the eras of military service that, uh, that I could be interviewing folks in. And uh, it was this, this desire to share um, the impact of World War II through the lens of the personal stories of those who experienced it that really brought me to uh, this objective of, of writing articles for, for the newspaper. So um, the Martinsville Reporter Times, the Mooresville Decatur Times, the uh, Hoosier uh, Times in Bloomington uh, were carrying my stories along with a, a few other local newspapers. After a couple of years, um, I set my sights on a more, more permanent or long-lasting platform from which to publish these stories through books. I discovered that uh, most of the articles that I had written of veterans, uh, you know, of course, had a word limit to those articles. And most of them, I had enough information from the interview with the veterans to expand what was the article and make it into a chapter for, uh, for a, a later book. 
And so I began working on expanding those stories and uh, putting them together in the book that would come under the title, Our Service, Our Stories, first published in uh, 2015, uh, second volume uh, subsequently came out in 2018, and I'm pleased to announce that the third volume uh, is uh, at the printer and will be available in the weeks ahead, and I'll certainly be sharing more information with you on, uh, on that. So with, uh, with that honor and privilege of having interviewed the veterans and in some cases civilians during that World War II era, uh, I want to use those stories and share them with you in this platform to help illustrate the aspects of World War II, but to do so in a really interesting way, seeing it through the lens of those who, who served in it. So join me next week as I introduce each of the three volumes in my book series. I'll post a link on Facebook when that program is ready. But I also invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, it is titled World War II History and Stories with Ron May. If you prefer an email reminder uh, of when the video is uploaded, you can just send a message to my email address, ron at ronaldpmay.com. To learn more about me or my books, you can visit my website, ronaldpmay.com, or follow me on my, on my book Facebook, uh, Our Service, Our Stories. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, hope to have you join me again next week.